Bambas live somewhere in the US. 1992. You will answer my questions as usual. One for yes, two for no. Uh, Do you understand? One. Do you believe in extraterrestrial life? Two. Are you currently restrained? Oh. Are you married? Do nope. you work in law enforcement? Probably. Does it now? Do you know who I am? No. Do you know who you are? Yes. Are you... See? Told you guys, I'm ready. The operator. That's me. I'm the operator. FDI headquarters, Washington, D.C. 7.30 a.m. Camera's blocking now, at least it's not blocking. Secure boot to government terminal. Um, admin? What the? Admin, admin. Yep, Evan, too easy. Send an operation. Uh, please do the following document for the proceeding here. Yeah. Operator is uh, uh, technical support field agents. That is at work. Um, agents call the hotline to call dispatch to say a secretary's agent identity clearance, uh, load level. Okay. Request is for the supervisor. Supervisor dispatches the call operator. Establish between agent and operator. Once uh, operator fulfills the agent technical request, line is closed. Sounds easy. Oh, what's up? Hey, pal. I holding up? Get all that booze out of you? Uh. What? What? You seriously don't remember? You wanted to celebrate your new job, and I quote, ahem, properly. Well, I'm happy you're here. You and me at the FDI together. It's really great. But I gotta tell you something. When we're on the job, I can't treat you differently than anybody else. You understand, right? Good. Well, I'd better run. The FDI can't run itself now, can it? Good luck with your first day. All right? Yep. Litter Mike. Good Somebody? morning, Mr. Tanner. Welcome to the FDI. I assume you're up to speed on your mission here at the Operator Program? Yep. You know the basics. Good. So, just to recap, your job is to support our agents by providing them with all the help they need in the field to solve a case. That help can come in the form of fact-checking, video and audio analysis, even lab work. Yeah, that's, My that's job I've been as doing a supervisor is to link the agents with an appropriately matched operator. Any questions? Nope. Fine, but first you need to learn how to respond to an agent's request. Let's do a dry run, shall we? I want you to find my age. This objective just popped up at the top left of your screen beside the applications menu. See it? Whenever you're stuck or if you need help, simply click on the question mark next to the objective. Go on and click on the question mark, Tanner. Tanner. Yes, just like that. You can always click on the question mark if you get stuck, though I'm hoping this won't happen often. I'm giving you access to the human database. The human DB, as we call it here. 
You can find this and other tools to help you solve agent requests in the Applications menu. Now go ahead, Operator Tanner. Applications. Solve my find my age. When you find the answer, click on the objective and then select the answer on the screen. Okay. Um, I'm, how much years? It's 48. That's too easy. Right. Like that, Tanner. I'll let you get settled in. And I'll contact you later with your first real request. I mean, this is just too easy. Side papers, please, but... At the headquarters, Washington, D.C. 9, 18 a.m. What's up, buddy? Tanner, looks like your first request is somewhat of a baptism by fire. I have an agent working a homicide. It's her first case, too. Oh, Not cool. ideal, but consider this a learning experience. I'll be monitoring you in the background. I'm patching the agent through now. All right, let's go. It's Operator Tanner, right? Um, yeah. I don't think our paths ever crossed at the academy, did they? Anyway, I got a homicide at a bar downtown called The Sanctuary. Ironic, no? My Vic, dead on arrival, is male, Caucasian, early 60s. He was shot in the head at close range around 2 a.m., just before closing time. As far as evidence, I got some surveillance footage from the bar and uh, some kind of list that I found on the deceased. Any chance you can work your operator magic and help find me an ID on the shooter? Not a problem. Thanks, operator. Okay, I'm sending over the files. Good luck. Uh, bar. Cam. Um. This is our cutting edge video analysis system, Tanner. Click on any relevant elements in the video to trigger an analysis. Go on, give it a whirl. All right, so that's... Just like with the video, you can click on a photo for further analysis. Looks like our victim is Henry Jenkins. Hmm. For some reason, we can't access his full profile. Unfortunately, for the moment anyway, there's not much else we can learn about him. Okay. Is it not gonna play? Oh. The footage quality, quality is insufficient for a proper ID, operator. You'll need to find another way to ID the killer. Uh, better friends? Like this? Right? Uh, okay. I'm confused. Okay. Oh, no way. What is this? CIS Miami? Like a Fudo. Uh, okay. Ray Wells. Um, let's just go to, uh, nope. Let's go to DB. DB. Ray Wells. Let's take a look, hold on. Is that him though? Yeah, I kinda look similar, yeah, definitely him. Uh, okay. So then, um... Give me a stolen car though. I, 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 don't, want, I, I don't want to get it wrong and then and, and, like get kicked out or whatever. 
Is there more we could look at? Car DP. Yep. Oh no, we already have that. We already have that. You know what? Fuck it. Nice. Now we know the perp's name. You got something for Wells' address? Because I'll take it if you do. Um, sure. Address. Too easy. Yeah, that'll do. Nice work. Next up is to bring Wills in. I'll keep you updated. Thanks, Operator Tanner. I'm him. Not bad, Tanner. Not great, but not bad either. What do you mean, not great? I'll contact then? you later with your next request. What? No need to worry, Operator. You'll improve with time. What? Five PM. Yeah, fuck that bitch. Most wanted. Fred S something. Ten K. This is where you put the VPN on, do the work, Tanner, then catch him, and then get the reward. I need you to on an investigation started by a previous operator. I'll let the agent working the case bring you up to speed. That's none of your concern, Tanner. Uh. Oh, please, tell me you got something. Uh. What? God damn it! Who are you? Great. Every goddamn time we get a new operator, it takes me twice as long. I got a life outside the FDI, you know? Interests, hobbies, full-blooded passions. I don't have time for this. Okay, gotcha. I got a missing persons case out here in Dryfield, Nevada. Connie Moore's her name. I canvassed the area, talked to the locals. I can't believe I'm saying this, but everyone thinks she was abducted by aliens. Dude. What? Middle of nowhere. Hot as hell. Sandy. Calling it a small town would be an insult to small towns. Look, I think it's bonkers, too. Another weird thing is, over the past year, four people in Dryfield have claimed they've been abducted. And every single time they reappeared somewhere in the middle of the desert out here about a month later, Connie's story's the same. She was. Popped back up yesterday. Collected her testimony myself. She had a camera on her. Naturally, I like to look at the photos. But to do that, I gotta go through you, an operator. Lucky me, right? What? There's something off about all this. I mean, beyond all the talk of little green men, just look for something that doesn't add up, okay? Here are the files. Desert. Desert. Um, something that doesn't add up. Camera. Oh yeah, I see it. Nine forty three. So that's a real UFO then. Auto focus on. What the fuck? Brightness level one. Well, I mean, yeah, it's on a different date, but I don't think it matters, though, does it? 
Um, oh, maybe we did the testimony actually, hold on. Um, reappearance on 3535, three, right? Okay. Victim, uh, agent, um, okay. I was hiking in the desert at my dry field. Sometimes I do that. Look at my head. I take photos. This is my hobby of mine. What is your camera? Yeah, it's your, your camera. Okay. Remember what they did in the desert? A little blurry, blah, blah. Remember they taking two photographs. There's a noise even in the sky. I mean, yeah, she's lying because took two photographs. And then I waited, after that she waited 16 days and took another photograph. Then they head over, uh, then what? I should be honest, my mind it goes blank. Was there someone with you in this room? Wait. I looked up and barely had time to take another photograph. It was just moving so fast. They were shipped to the UFO. They landed to the east. Uh, I can see anything photo of them. It must have been taken an hour 45. Then what? Not really sure to be honest. Okay. Someone with you in this room? Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, hold on. The room is so bright and looking like the sun. You describe what you, as you can. Uh, they were human except they weren't. Something was off. Too tall to ten. Disturbing. What about the room? Entirely white, and they can smell sort of hospital. Okay. Wanna learn about me to study me? Okay, cool. Well, what else do you remember? Strange voice, mechanical. Got it. Okay. So I can't like click on anything? We'll find inconsistency. Um The days don't matter much up, so like it. We click on three. Wait, that's yeah. not. Yeah. Then she said she took another photo. That makes three photos. I don't see an issue with this, but you know, the I don't have your uh, operator skills. Uh, okay. The dates. Jackpot. Connie said she took that photo the day she disappeared. Yeah, no shit. Clearly, she didn't. Maybe the aliens did funny things to her brain. Maybe her brain was funny to begin with. Do me a favor. Locate the position on the map where she supposedly snapped this photograph. Photo location. On a map? Phone records. Um, at nine forty-three, at ten thirteen. So, like there, then. Well, on what day? Hold on. Wait. The, the position on the map where she uh, this is not this photo. Last one! 2535. What the fuck? Oh, I, oh, oh. So what she's saying basically. I mean, that's kind of dumb though. It's kind of dumb though, because it, it's, it's false dates though, right? Hold on. I had it, right? I had it! Alright. Now check this spot out. I guess I gotta do a little hiking. Probably sweat my goddamn balls. The aliens are gonna get him! What the fuck?
They got to him. It's over. Hacked by aliens? What? Did I lose? Hello, Evan. I know many things about you, Evan. What do you want? It's simple. I want the truth. What? Let me show you some everything here. Give me the list found on the Henry Jenkins. Uh, yeah, I remember that. Oh! Oh yeah, my bad. Yeah, I, I might have forgot to click it. Yeah. What about her? Two cases are linked then. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, I didn't. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't gonna do all that. Bottom of that has been redacted there. She. It's me. Okay, understood. Too easy. Um, I'll leave on hold for now. I'm kind of chill today. I'm kind of feeling kind of kind of chill. Right, what's up? Operator Tanner, are you there? Agent Walker told me that your connection was suddenly cut, and when I tried to contact you, you were offline. What happened? Hmm. Huh. I see. I'll have IT look into that at once. The second shift of operators has arrived. You can go home now, Tanner. See you tomorrow. And don't be late. Mmm, missing. So, it's redacted. How do I get this? So what do I think when I tap one or two, it highlights it. So one and two make it appear. Oh. Seven, eight, nine. Is that maybe a glitch? Well it's not in binary, because that would only be zeros and ones. Gabe Rose. It might be a date. Oh, maybe a date of birth. But I don't think we can crack this up right now. I, 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 I don't think I can.
Oh, two alerts. What the fuck? Hold on. Oh! No! Guys, I can brute force this then. It was what? Two and eight. Holy shit! So, okay, four, one, two, three, it's not a phone number, it doesn't have enough numbers. Okay, so at least it's a star, right? What if it starts with something? Yeah, I was about to say. Oh, the fuck? What the fuck is going on? Dude, hell chat, I think it's a glitch. Guys, it's a glitch! Wait, but that's it though. It's finished. Wait. What did I just do? So, is that like a... Hold on. Hold on. Mystery, mystery number. Okay, it's saved for later. Hold on. Um, yeah, it's about it. Bink. All right, whatever. It's been cool though, but it's play, it, it, play an investigative game and brute force like a like a glitch through like investigation. It's kind of cool though. It's kind of it's kind of fitting. I think it's all the bug. But why would the bug stop? With those numbers. <laughs> A 
it might be a glitch and all those numbers all mean something eh? like date of birth and other shit eh? Oh, each letter is a number. And it's like a Caesar cipher where you change the letter correspondent. Like 19... 82 might be John, and that's John John. Chat. This is my notepad was fucked with her. Hey, pal. So, tell me, how day number one at the FDI go? Everything you had hoped for? Went well. All right. That's what I like to hear. Ah, sorry, buddy. My phone's ringing off the hook here. I got it. But hey, great job. And uh, just, just keep plugging away, okay? I'm proud of you, Evan. Chat food's here, chat. I like this game, though. Uh, Tanner, it. Agent Pendle has an update on yesterday's case. I'll patch her through in a moment. But before I do, I wanted to let you know that from this point on, you'll talk to the agents directly. Time to cut the umbilical cord. However, as your supervisor, I'll still be in the background monitoring your activity. Sure. Wait, what? Good morning, Operator Tanner. So you remember Ray Wells, right? Yo, how about shut up, bitch? Uh. I remember. So I yeah. checked out the address you gave me, but no sign of Wells. Then I get a call from Vice, and guess what? Wells was found dead in a downtown parking garage early this morning. Shot. Point blank range. Now I'm working two homicides and it's my first week. Welcome to the FDI, Alexandra. Anyway, the garage has cameras and I got some footage of Wells. Oh. That's the good news. The bad news? I don't have all the footage. Sort of weird, but part of it is missing. I don't know. Looks that way, doesn't it? I don't put much stock into conspiracies, but the timing is definitely suspicious. Anyway, think you could take a look. I'm looking for anything that's different between the first and second half of the surveillance footage. Apart from Wells ending up dead and the blood splatter on the pillar. Sorry for the vivid details. Find something different. Uh I wanted it. Different to there. Cause there's a body in the one that before there was no body. Well, uh, I, the guy died. Uh. 
I don't see... Oh! Light at the back end. Yeah. The bullet hit the light. Aha. Uh -huh. hey, give me a sec, operator. I'm gonna check this out. They have to go inside the top and go check if there's a button there. Well, well, well. I just found a bullet lodged in the light's framework. Yeah, work. no I'm shit. I'm sending you a photo. Can you run an analysis and tell me what kind of bullet I'm looking at? Nine mil. Hollow point. Well, I missed, like, That's sorry. the photo I sent you of the bullet operator. 45 and you're Can right. Can you analyze it and tell me what type of bullet it is? True. I just said it. Oh. Forty-five caliber? I believe that's what the military and police use. Well, that's something anyway. Thanks for your help, operator. Appreciate it. If only well, I mean, we had not exclusive. all of the footage. Anyway. I should get back to the scene. Keep digging and see if you can find anything else about our perp. Oh man, yo, bruh. They can tell what guy this is from this with nothing, but they couldn't tell what the face was earlier. Fuck off. Yeah, emulator. Um. Sure. How does that get in? All oh, this smells like an inside job. Also, it's him. Or him. It, it, it's trench. And it's like a test to see if I, if I would break it. If I was... Uh, uh, up in information like that. It's easy clap. Yeah, that's her. Also, he's offline right now. See that? Of course. How does he know all that? How does he know they call it cutting edge, huh? Six, six, six.
What? Enhance. Enhance. I see that you ran the facial recognition software and zero matches turned up, operator. That's unusual. In fact, it shouldn't even be possible. Our FDI databases are exhaustive. I'll flag this issue for later. But go ahead and share the image with Agent Pendle. Want to? Can we have food downstairs? I don't understand. How did you get this? Broccoli? I didn't I'll ask for broccoli. I wanted to get green beans. Maybe someone has seen our Prince Charming. I'll talk to you later. And thanks again. Okay, chat. I'll finish the chat after. I gotta eat the supper. Why it's so hard then? Go finish it! What the fuck? Oh, I'll continue then, I'll give you while eating food. Jesus Christ, man. Secure call, what? So it's not monitored? Hello, Operator Tanner. Hal told me that you'd be calling. Uh... Okay, I'll try to keep this short. About a month ago, I started working on a missing person's case. A woman reported that her husband had been gone for over 48 hours. Almost right away, the case felt different. Red tape all over the place. An unusual lack of cooperation from my superiors and colleagues. Unanswered calls. Suddenly, the FDI felt like the most incompetent department in the country. After an almost endless game of phone tag, I finally managed to get an appointment with a superior. The plan was to sit down and talk about the case first Throw thing Monday morning. To watch and enjoy that your Sunday night, I'm awoken by a phone call. The woman's apartment has burned to the ground. And the woman, what's left of her anyway, has been found dead in the ashes. Well, it gets worse. So I started looking into the fire, of course. I, I couldn't help myself. Plus, I felt like I owed it to Mia. That was the woman's name. Mia Cole. 
Anyway, it wasn't long before my superiors found out and pressured me to stop. They told me the fire had been ruled accidental, the result of faulty wiring in our oven. They told me I was wasting my time and precious FDI resources by looking into it, and said if I continued, I'd end up pushing papers in a basement somewhere. But that okay. fire, Operator Tanner, that fire was no accident. I can feel it. Mia was murdered. I just have to prove it. That's why I'm hoping you can help me. Uh, I'm sorry, but I can't really go into that. Not now, anyway. You just have to trust me. Go ahead and search them in the human DB. The husband's name is Sasha. Sasha and Mia Cole. Please. Oh, wrong, wrong name, sorry. Uh Okay. Mm. Just another coincidence, right? Look, I don't know why, but someone doesn't want us looking into Sasha and Mia Cole. But we have to, Operator Tanner. It's our job. Who's going to do it if we don't? Can you help me find proof Nia's fire wasn't an accident? You'll take a look then? Oh, thank you. As far as how to access the case files, that's not really my area of expertise. But you can ask Hal. Um, okay. There's not a lot of like investigation right now, it's just kind of trolling. Okay, I'm, I'm, chat, I'm gonna watch a video while I, 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 I finish my food. This is kind of fucking annoying. Uh, dude, like, please. Why can I still hear the game? Chat, if this isn't a big up chat, I'm gonna quit it, I think. Um, let's take a look. Uh, why is he mad at me, dude? Um, download. Uh, FL select. Ooh. Mode emit. 9XQLHC? What is it? All the same thing? the fuck oh there's a question mark before so one with the the, the the bullshit at the beginning right so one of these two so what's the difference with these ones then oh it was a, oh, and it, it was a Q this one Well, a thorn in the side. You have to admit, Hal gets results. Oh, what the heck? Um, prove the fire was not an incident. Uh, chemical analyzer. What? Oh, God. Ion size, delta V, liquid sample is two, solid six, gas 
Okay. One third, half, twice. Bing, bing, bonk. Bro, you're kidding me. All right, watch this. I got this shit. Um. So I'm supposed to prove the fire was not an accident. So this is all pretty much. Um, that's her, right? That's Mia, right? Yeah, too easy. And my sample is uh, what do we mean start. Wait, what? Oh, arr, I gotta learn this. Okay. So basically, uh, it's an ash sample, non-organic. So that's a solid ion size is six. There is organic is it 3.5 so six pretty much, right? So six. Delta V can get it You're following it. Sample weight times two fifty. Guys, it it's non-organic. Which means it's not 3.56. So like... I do what, like 4.2 times 100? Oh, I could've done this without the calculator. 420, right? Right? Solid half the delta V. So 210. And then sample matrix. Uh, default value of is 5. If you're using an older version of the CAM LSA, uh, 103. Okay. Uh, 4. So Are you kidding me? Results Okay. Okay. Open the data report. Uh, the pH of frequencies are calculated uh, the exact composite of the sample. The response frequencies must be entered in the highest and lowest intensity spike. There must be between one and five spikes that are higher than the threshold. Okay. From the highest to the lowest. So. Uh, what? Yo. So how to analyze this shit then? So do I open the next program? Wait, which one? Hello?
Because how do I analyze this shit then? How, how do I... Okay. The response frequency is it must be entered. Okay. You can use the mouse to point at the frequency. What program? This? Oh. So what's the CCVT then? pH CCVT nano one pH is one five and then the highest is nine nineteen two four nine so is there no dot? Right, um, then it would be 153. And then it'd be 1058. Wait, what do you mean 10? Whoa. What? Oh! So, it's the X, not the Y. Yo, you might be right about that. So the highest was at nine. Yeah, this is fine, I did it fine, I, I did it right. I did it right, I did it right, you're wrong, I did it right. It's gasoline. So if it's gasoline, boom! I'm actually I'm an investigator. I actually hire me or some shit. I knew it. Faulty wiring might, you know what? This was no accident. Someone started this fire and killed Mia. But why? Uh. I I can't talk about that operator. Not now. When the time is right. Hal will let you know, I'm sure. But what we're doing here, it's important. You see that, right? It, it matters to me. Okay, well, I don't really give a shit, to be honest with you. I grew to know her. Mia, I mean. With our line of work, you try not to get emotionally involved. That's what they teach you at the academy, anyway. Almost from the start. And usually, if I can turn the switch off, I learned to do that. Feel nothing. Methamphetamine again? When the crystal finally kicks in, holy shit. Guys, this game feels more about like the story and everything than the actual kind of like intricacy and kind of fun of like doing like the uh, like the work or whatever. But maybe I'm maybe I'm stupid. Then. Well, it's not really a story game though. Well, it kind of is.
Like, he writes slow. Like, I think we either talk. Oh. Operator Tanner, can I have a word? Oh my God. I see that you've uh, been looking into the database entries for Mia and Sasha Cole. You want to tell me why? I see. In the future, I want you to avoid anything related to Sasha and Mia Cole. It's a closed case. A total waste of your time. And if by chance something else pops up concerning the Coles, and this is very important, you come to me right away. Understood? So basically, he's, he's the guy, pretty much. I'll talk to you later. He's your friend. This is a director at my at my first done a job. He has no fucking friends, brother. Oh, the story. Yeah, you're right. They got wasted. I forgot. Good chat, guys. I believe that every uh, game has its own uh, unique ending, and in this playthrough chat, it's the, the chat is an ending you're gonna see nowhere else. Barry calls. I put him on hold. I go get some coffee at the office and I walk out the front door. Fired. It's fucking I I I'm fucking fired. I don't give a shit. I just walked out and went home, brother. I said this, I didn't say anything to anybody. Boom, done. Holy shit. Man. Chat, that's an ending you'll you'll see nowhere else. Holy fuck. Chat, I just went harder.